So I was just like, all right, whatever, you know, screw it. Nobody's ever gonna see this. So I'll just, I'm just gonna go for it. We had wrapped the movie, right? We'd wrapped Teen Witch and, you know, all was well. I feel like it was a few months later, I got a call and they wanted to add some new scenes to the movie. Men are like another species. They're really hard to get through to. Like take Rhett, for example. <laughs> Rhett? They called me up and they said, we're doing a reshoot. We're gonna reconstruct certain parts. They wanted to redo the opening of the movie and they really wanted to come up with a big rap song in the middle of the movie as a feature. So the, the new producers that I met with said, you write rap? I said, yeah, I'll write a rap. <laughs> so I went home and worked on a rap. And I go into this room and there's all these executives and producers sitting there, kind of like real down and out because the first version of the movie wasn't working. So the pressure was on, I push the button, I do the rap, I stop, and there's this deadpan silence. And one guy goes, I like it. And then they all go, oh yeah, we like it. So I was like, oh man. Look at how funky he is. I will never be hip. When people talk about this particular scene, they talk about the, the outfit, the costumes. You know, he's wearing like that midriff shirt and like the, I don't even know, rolled up sweatpants or whatever. I do remember walking out of the dressing room onto the set feeling like, wow, this is really pushing the envelope of whatever this is supposed to be. There was not any moment in time that I ever thought what I was doing was cool. Uh, there was no moment that I was ever not in peril that this would be just totally humiliating. Little did I know that it was going to be this strange sort of sub-pop culture iconic thing. And Noah's dance moves, I, ha I have to uh, give him due props for the dance moves. I'm king and they know it. When I snap my fingers and these bodies say short, I'm hot and you're not. There was a dance studio somewhere in town and they said, you and Mandy are going to be meeting here uh, twice this week and meeting with this choreographer. Like, it was just so funny because it was at a time when like, you know, rap had emerged as this thing, but I, I really don't think white people really had any kind of handle on what it was. And so it was this kind of bizarre bastardized version. And I remember the choreographer was like, you know, like, do this, and I'm like, really do that? I, I didn't have to do anything, so it didn't really affect me. Um, Mandy and Noah were mortified to have to do this rap. They thought it was really stupid. Um, <laughs> but then after, you know, you, you realize you're not getting out of it, you kind of have to just embrace it, and they did. And also in the scene was included that I thought Rhett was really, you know, rad, whatever, I don't even remember. He was, he was funky. I was looking at the scene, I was like, so you mean to tell me that my character liked Rhett the whole time that we shot for the last, you know, couple of months? And I had no idea while I was shooting, you know, so I was a little bit like, oh great, okay, how's that gonna be? There wasn't a lot of continuity or through line. I don't think that the script was really sweated over a whole lot. When we were there at the time, I remember talking to Manny going, look, we, we just gotta go for this. There's no way around this. There's no way except to just go for it and commit as much as humanly possible. It's going to be ridiculous regardless. But I did, I did feel a little bit like, oh my gosh, like how am I gonna, how am I gonna do this? You know, this is gonna, this is gonna be embarrassing. But then, you know, back in those days, back in 1988, when we shot the film, most things, if they didn't do well, would just go to video and it would just disappear. So that's, you know, that was my attitude about it. I thought she did so great. I thought that they did it so well. I just enjoyed it. Supersonic, idiotic, disconnected, not respected. Who would ever really wanna go and top that? Such a waste of pretty face, but hanging in your nose face. I wish that you would take a look and really stop that. Here's an interesting thing. The voice in Top That is not me. I don't know what was going on there, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm hot. 
I was shocked the first time I heard it. I was like, that's not me. I don't know who that is. Um, I think people th probably think it's me. I don't know that anyone really, maybe till today, knows that that is not my voice. I went and got a couple of kids to come in and do the, the real version of it that ended up in the movie. So they were actually doing the vocal to a pre-record. that. So I got rid of my television um, in like 1988. So I was only aware that it had been sold to cable because I received like a buyout at that time. What I didn't know was it was going to be on the Disney Channel like in heavy rotation basically. It's, it, was, it was I think playing all the time. And then with the internet now anything that you've ever done is available. So it, it just once the internet happened, it exploded. Who would have thought in a million years that this would be the most beloved scene in the entire movie? So now with the internet, I've discovered all of these Top That parodies and tributes. On 30 Rock, it was actually a joke. I had gotten a call from NBC Universal about the use of the song for 30 Rock, and I was always curious as to what they were gonna do with that. Supersonic, idiotic, disconnected, not respected. Who would ever really want to go and top that? Top that! There's Jack Antonoff did one. I saw Jack Antonoff's. Yeah, love it. I was like, this is really pretty cool. Such a waste of pretty face, but hang it in, you know what face. I wish that you would take a look and really top that. So stop that. Top that. I don't really give a about trying to top that. So stop that. Oh, Robin did one. She hits the nail on the head in that one. Top that. Uh, stop that. I don't really give a about trying to top that, top that. I hadn't really given it much thought, but then I meet Tommy Link, and then he said, oh, well, you know, I'm just nervous to ask you this, but would you ever want to, would you consider doing top that with me? And I was like, you know what? He would be the perfect person to do it with. We just kind of winged it, and we were dying laughing, like dying laughing. Stop that. I wish you finally took a real look and really stop that. My personal favorite is the one that Andy Samberg did with um, his company Lonely Island. They basically did a sort of behind the music documentary of this group, me and those two guys, the Dudetude, they dubbed it. They sort of did this whole intense breakdown documentary of of that scene and, and, and its power and why it's so enduring. When somebody sent me that, I was like, wow, that's, that's impressive. And it was hilarious, it's really funny. And the other thing is that they have all of these different, like there was a musical review that the Groundlings did and Robin and Noah and I actually went to go see that together and those people went crazy when we were in the audience. It's just kind of had this very bizarre afterlife. Thank God, at least I, I look enough like that guy that people still go, are you the Top That guy? The thing about the movie, and I'm surprised myself, you know, is that Top That is like the iconic scene from the movie. There's a part of me that thinks that Louise's amulet actually worked. And so on, so everybody loves it so much. And it's funny, cause like for years, I was really embarrassed about it. I'm like, oh my God, this thing's so ridiculous. I'm, I'm an actor, I do this, this and that. And, uh, and then I just sort of kind of gave it up. I'm like, you know what? People love it for whatever reason. I, it, it's not my business to know why. Um, and when you get down to it, that's sort of why anyone who does this does this. And for that many people to have found this many hours of joy in that ridiculous little movie, I'm good with that, you know? I'm okay with that. Top that. <laughs> Top that. Top that, yes.